May buntag pag-usab. Buntag. So, thank you guys. Sa nindot kay nga kanta no nga didto niya sa langit. And it is very much connected sa atong team karon no because because of God's true love, we have the chance to go to heaven. Nya didto niya sa langit. Hinaot unta nga kitang tanan magkita ngadto. So, may I request everyone to please stand and let us pray before we start the message. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for this wonderful day that you've given to us, God. Thank you for dying on the cross to save us from our sins. Truly, you've shown an unconditional love, God, that you died for us even though we were sinners, God. Lord, please uh, speak through your servant, God, and uh, may all that we heard, God, Lord, this morning, God, may we apply it in our everyday lives, God. And all of these things we ask and pray through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. So... Again, so ako balik ko, no? Ang theme for this month is again, beautiful love, okay? So today is the first Sunday of the month, and this is the time of the year again, no? Nga February, this is the time of the year that the world celebrates the month of love. So if mulaag mo sa malls or sa restaurants, makita ninyo na na dayon dito ang mga hearts na dagko, na asli mga setup, just to celebrate uh, this month of love but for us christians it is the best time of the year for us to ponder upon the meaning of love as stated in the bible so if the world celebrates uh anything about love so we are going to uh, study or to go deeper in the word about what the bible says about love so the bible has a lot to say about love it has been stated 300 to 500 times in the Bible. So, bisag ang nag, nag record no, wala siya sure kung 300 ba or 500 times. So, brakadaghan dyan siya, mentioned sa Bible. And it is both in the Old and New Testament. So, the Bible used different words to describe different kinds of love. And the most well known, kung inyo makita sa screen, kay ang um, four Greek words that is used in the Bible. So, we have storge. Philia, Eros, and Agape. So there are different kinds of love. So a quick run through lang. The storge is affection or it is a love that is between family members. Philia is friendship, love between friends. Eros is romance or love between partners or of opposite sex or spouses. And lastly is Agape, which we are going to talk about today, which is unconditional love or the love of God. So... Today, we are going to talk about the heart. So, the heart na atong itok karon is not about the symbol. So, kinsa may makafamiliar sa heart na symbol, no? Sayon ra kay na siya drawing. So, two, two, murag, two mirrored image na siya, mirrored on both sides. But actually, we are not going to talk about that symbol, but we are going to talk about the true heart that is inside our bodies. So, uh, uh, as I learned medicine, no? so I was so amazed by how God constructed our hearts. So, truly, it is a center, the center of our lives. So, now, let me share to you some facts that I learned as I studied uh, heart in the cardiovascular system as a medicine student. So, the first one is the average heart is the size of an adult fist. So if you are going to inana komoto ninyo yung hangkamot. So this is actually medically proven somehow the size of your heart. And uh, actually nakita sa namo jud nga ingan ni jud ay ang size sa heart nimo in relation to your fist. Then your heart will beat about 115,000 times each day. So if I am going to ask you how many uh, numbers can you count na why putol putol no? So maybe not all of us can reach 115,000 times. So, and it is stated there, it is all involuntary. Meaning, the heart beats involuntarily without, without us knowing. So, naglingkod na karun, our heart still beats for us. Now, imagine if God designed the heart nga voluntary. Meaning, kunahay, marag ang pagkumot sa kamot ba, this is not involuntary. Diba? You think of it, mo pala ni mo maklose. But ang heart, even though you don't think about it, mo, mo beat na siya on its own. What if ang heart, kay dili mo beat on its own? 
So it would take much effort for all of us nga mo pump sa blood sa ato ang body no and actually that is the cause if those kanaganing naana sa mga ICU so they have attachments in their heart so that it would beat for them kay their heart cannot beat on their own so we are so that alone is a blessing from God so the next one is the beating sound your heart makes is caused by the opening and closing of the valves so what are valves basically they are just doors bitaw na mo open and mo close so the opening and closing of your doors of the heart is basically what causes the lub dub lub dub okay so that causes the heart sound and kaning broken heart no dili ra ni siya para sa mga naguyab no nga broken hearted because of a relationship actually medically there is also broken heartedness basically ang valve sa imong heart kay dili siya mo open or dili siya mo close that's why your heart is broken and because of that it will not serve the primary function of your heart which is to pump blood and lastly ang pinaka unique jud sa heart is that it sends electrical signals to beat for your heart and even though the heart is removed from the body during transplant it still beats on its own because na asha own na electrical system so imagine nga na siya ka unique so aside from talking about the facts let us know the functions of the heart. So as we all know, siguro from science, that the basic function of heart is to pump the blood. And because of pumping the blood, it dis distributes the blood to all parts of your body. And because of that, all your nutrients, all the oxygen is distributed to all parts, sa imuhang body, sa imuhang muscles, and everything. And lastly, because our muscles are supplied by those oxygens, by those nutrients, it enables us to move and perform functions essential for life. So if you are not given oxygen by God and it is not distributed throughout your body, basically, manggahi ka and dili ka kalihok. So with oxygen being abundantly av available in nature and because ma pumps sa ato ang heart, ma distribute ang oxygen, mo na makalihok ta karon. Okay, makato ta sa simbahan. So, the biblical foundation of this message is found in 1 John 4, verse 7 to 12, and it is entitled by NIV, God's Love and Ours. So, in verse 7, uh, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed His love among us. He sent His one and only Son into the world that we might live through Him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. So dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and His love is made complete in us. So in this message, I am going to relate heart to God and His love for us. So the functions of the heart to our body is the function of God's love to our life. So this, the focus of this message is to stress out the true meaning of agape love, the love of God. So what functions does God's love play in the life of a Christian? Or what are the functions of God's love in the life of a Christian. So proceeding to the first point, so the function of the heart, as we all know, is the center of its system. And also, God must be the center of our Christian lives. So it is actually stated in the Bible in that foundation text na atong giingon ganiha, in verses 7 to 8, giingon diha, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. So God alone is love. Actually, kung uh, nakaten mo kids ministry, no, per, ang favorite verse, ang short test is actually 1 John 4, 8, God is love. But actually, kung yung mo tanawin, napa na siya sumpay beforehand. So as Christians, siguro mas nindot ato i memorize before that whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. So, 
The heart is the center of the system pumping out blood, and this goes the same way with God. So God is the source and the definition of love, making him the center of love. So what can we infer from this? So first, we need to acquire the love of God and understand it fully. Dapat sabto na to unsa jud ang word ni God, unsa jud ang love ni God sa iyahang pulong. So same goes with eating healthy to make our hearts healthy. We also need to have a source that would really define the love of God. So ang unsa man tong source? Basically, it is God's word that is alone uh, sufficient for us to know the word I, the love of God, or to be able to understand the love of God. So we need to learn from the scriptures that we are truly loved by God and how unconditional the love of God is. So that once we fully understand the word of God, it affects every aspect of our lives. So imagine if you have already know what the love of God is, it would influence your everyday life. It will influence how you decide, how you speak, and how you live. So this then makes God, God's love the center of our lives. So again, God, God's love must be or it should be the center of Christian lives. Now proceeding to the second, second point, the heart keeps every cell of the body alive due to oxygen and nutrients. So uh, God's love also kept us alive. Why? In verse 9, this is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. That we might live through him. So just as the heart pumps the blood and supplies oxygen and nutrients for us to live, God, in the same way, daily oxygen or nutrients specifically ang iyang gisend, God sent his son for, to die for our sins so that we too could live. So it is more than oxygen, no? God gave His Son for us not to die. Instead, ang iyang anak may magpakamatay para sa tua. So each, of what, each one of us had committed things that are against the eyes of God and we are destined to die. So if God didn't send His Son to die for our sins, patay natatanan. We are eternally dead. So, but because of His love, nagihatag Niya si Christ to die for our sins, we now can access the goodness of God and the life He actually prepared for all of us. So again, we are all alive because of Him. Now the third point, so paspasyonisya, no? The third point is God's love enables us to move or basically function because the function of the heart is to enable our body to move. So in verse 10, giingon diha, this is love. Not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sin. So, when the heart supplies the body with oxygen and nutrients, this enables the muscles of your body to move and grow. So, without your oxygen, your muscles cannot move and they cannot grow. So, for example, the muscles in our arms and forearms. So, basically, these uh, functions... No, for us to, uh, may, pag punit o Bible, pag dala sa bag, or pag drive. Basically, uh, there are a lot of movements that requires our arms to move. Now, imagine if we cannot move this hand. Daghan kayo taog ginabuhat in our everyday lives that would not be, in, uh, that would be difficult for us. Kaya dili naman nato siya ma-perform. Now, when God gave His Son as an atonement for our sins, we were given the chance to move out from our transgressions and sins. So, if you were baptized, you were already given by God a chance to change yourself, to move out from the sins and the transgressions that you had. So, we could grow and mature as true followers of Christ. So, if there were sins that were holding you back before, Jesus dying on the cross removed any hindrance that would keep us from pushing forward with our Christian lives. So again, it enables us to move. So brothers and sisters in Christ, always remember to keep moving forward in God's love because God's love had already shown unconditionally that through sending His Son, 
to die for our sins, we are now allowed to move forward in our lives. And the last one, the last point, no? So, God's love should be shared to other people. So, the function of the heart is the heart pumps blood to every part of the body. So, may, it means that it extends throughout the body. So, our love or God's love also should be shared to other people or the people around us. In verse 11, it is stated there, Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. So, gibutang you there, you know? So, God's love enables us to love one another in a perspective that is in accordance with the will of God. So, not worldly love, huh? Because the basis of the word about love is different from the basis of God about love. So, another application of this point is in our relationships. So, we all have relationships. May it be uh, parents to, to daughters or to the sons, siblings, friends, uh, opposite sex. So, basically, each one of us has our own relationships. And in our relationship, God's love must be the most influential. So, a relationship that is founded in God's love is based on a stronger foundation. So, every relationship that is founded by God, founded in His Word, is basically a love that has a stronger foundation. It would set the direction of the relationship and making it more unconditional that is similar with God's love. So, again, let us continue to love one another in accordance to the love of God. So, Basically, dapat ang love nato towards the Ginoo would also be um, an affecting factor towards our love to other people. Dili man pwedeng ating simba tadiri, but our love towards other people is not in accordance with what our love is to God. Dili na siya mahimo. It should be, it, it should work hand in hand. So again, for the summary of everything, so what are the functions of God's love in a Christian? which is taken in 1 John in 1 John chapter 4 verses 7 to 12 going on there in the first one is God's love must be the center of the Christian lives and the second one is God's love kept us alive and third one is God's love enables us to move and lastly God's love should be shared to other people so again the heart of a human being is not normally seen so for our conclusion the heart of a human being is not normally seen so wala you know dili man nato makita na tong kasing kasing unless na lang kung ablihan na tong chest but that is for surgery so we cannot normally see our hearts it is behind our chest and it is well protected actually your chest can protect you sa imong heart against any compression or any sudden bumps so we can, but we can feel it beating, no? Dili man ato ma, ano? Dili man ato nga, nara dili hidden, di pa dyan ma feel. No, we can feel our heart beating. And even our pulse here, here, as well as sa ang lips. So, we have our pulses. Now, same goes with God. Giingon, actually, giingon siya sa verse 12, No one has ever seen God. No one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God lives in us and His love is made complete in us. So, Based from the verse, we did not see God. Wala na to karun ang nakaabot sa time ni Christ. So we, but we could feel His love for each one of us. Now, our role as Christians, we will serve as the chest. And chest that would house the love of God, protecting its reputation, meaning not taking it for granted, not using it for your own personal gain, but actually protecting its reputation and sharing the wonders of it. So now I have another picture sa, sa slides. I don't know if ma show. Uh, actually, this is, if nagpa ECG mo, this is your normal heart, heart, heartbeat, heartbeat, yeah. And the other one is flatline. Now, what I want to point out why I show these two pictures is that let us not reach the point in a flatline in which we could not feel anymore the love of God. Let us make every effort to complete the love of God in this world and keep it beating, so the normal wave. So we must keep the love of God beating in our lives. So again, do not 
do not reach the point of flatline but uh, maintain the beating of God's love. So thank you and God bless.